Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do one more Yusuko video. Um, this one is from 2018 January, uh, Silver Problem 2, Rental Service. So, um, let me just summarize the problem real quick. So, we have five cows, right? This is the first line. And we have three stores and four rentals, okay? So, each cow produces a different amount of milk, and this is in gallons. And we can either sell the milk or we can rent the cow. But remember, we can't like, uh, you know, take half the milk and then sell the cow. You know, you have to either do one or the other, right? So keeping that in mind, this tells us how many, uh, t the 10 tells us that, it, uh, that it's the max number of gallons of milk that particular store will buy from us at 25 per gallon. And two, this is max two, 10 per gallon, max 15, 15 per gallon. So, and this part tells us to, uh, just for one cow. So you'll get 250 if you sell a part, any cow to this guy or 100 here, 80, 40, right? So we can solve this problem using a greedy strategy. Let me show you how that looks real quick. So first, let's sort the um, uh, cow array, basically, like number of knocks. Like that, okay. Now we have, as we, as you know, we have two choices. We can either um, rent or sell. Okay, I'm just gonna call them R and S. Think about it for a minute. If you think about it, like you know, they don't care which of the cows they get. The rental people. So the most profitable strategy for you would be selling the least profitable cow for you to them at the highest price possible. So you would sell this. Uh, like kind of like the least profitable cow for 250 and then 100 so kind of in the descending order over here basically um, 80 and if you run out you're just gonna have a zero for the rest because like you have to you have to have a way to compare uh, you'll know why in just a minute and for uh, the other side where we are actually selling the milk you know you're more likely to sell uh, one of the cows over here right then over here because these produce more milk and it's more likely their milk costs more than what you'd get from renting them so we start at the bottom because like they're the most profitable cows and we're more likely to sell their milk rather than selling the cow itself so we have seven times 25 which is the most profitable you know price for us so 175 here right and then we'll get Three times, uh, you know, 10 minus 7, 3 times 25 plus 3 times 15, you'll get 120, I believe. And for this cow, we'll just get 60. Oh my god, that's not good. Okay, 30 for this number 2. And just 15 for the first guy. So here, this part is like the easiest part now. We just compare at each uh, index, at each cow index, which is the most profitable. So obviously, 250 is greater than 15. And same here as here as well, 80 is greater than 60, but here it flips and it kind of stays that way. So our final answer, 725, we get by adding all these profitable, basically max of the two numbers at the current index. Keeping that in mind, let me show you Java code real quick. So, bunch of inputs to this point. And remember, we have to sort our arrays. Just, you know, so that our process gets easier. And, yeah. And then we will have our answer. And remember, they said you have to have it in long. Because otherwise, it's going to do the integer overflow. And you're basically, <laughs> yeah, integer overflow is not good. I had experience with it in the past. And you, you just keep thinking, what did I do wrong? And it's just that small mistake. You know what I'm talking about? So for this part, this while loop is basically the biggest part. You can see by its size. And this, this basically simulates the first part where we are actually, you know, we start at the last cow because that's the cow that produces the most amount of milk. And we start at the last store because it's the most profitable store, right? Because it gives us the most money for each gallon of milk. And we basically kind of, we have three uh, types of comparisons, right? The milk we have is less than the store, what the store wants. So we kind of go, uh, you know, we go to the next cow. Or the milk we have is more than what the store can take, then we go to the next store. Or if they're both equal, we're just gonna like um, take the next cow as well as the next store. 
and we're gonna do this until uh, either the cows are over or the stores themselves are over at, at that point let's say if they're like you know we are done with like two more cows left those will be just assigned zero that's the um, good thing about using an array they'll just be assigned zero after that um the comp2 is relatively easy as you can see uh, because it's just the rental index and if there's nothing it will be zero and we're just going to do mat.max uh, at each cow comp1 and comp2 and out print term so that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe